Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Bill Henshaw here again. My YouTube videos and my uwinningcourt at gmail.com email address. And I'm going to do a couple of those succeeding videos here. The first is going to be on, on COVID slash evictions. And there may be a raft of those being attempted to come up in the near future. Although some of you may know that the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, has apparently issued a federal moratorium through December 31st. And that could get extended, especially if Trump wins the quote unquote election, as I believe he will. Uh, that could be even extended. But those of you looking at that, uh, you're in a much better position than you think. You have affirmative defenses here that none of these damn state bar association attorneys are going to make. Won't even maybe know about them, or worse, they're concealed the knowledge if they do know. For example, especially with a corporate landlord, you are not in a landlord tenant agreement. Doesn't exist. You were fraudulently induced into that agreement by a corporation that's registered with, at best, a territorial secretary of state. And yes, I can prove that there are no states. I've got the California Supreme Court conceding it at least twice and four or five other really strong references on this. There are no states. Yet as lawful de jure, just sanguinous state citizens, we're domiciled in a state judicial district. Separate jurisdictions. We can't go into theirs and we will not let them come into ours. Attorneys cannot come into a judicial court. And you get you know, acquire my constitutional defense document packet, send me an email, you went in court at gmail.com. Among other things you're going to get is an omnibus disqualification of all attorneys. They can't come in there. And for a variety of reasons, you're going to love all of it. So that said, no landlord tenant agreement. And not only that, you may be able to file a counterclaim against them for all, all the amounts paid in rents and maybe treble damages besides, since the agreement never existed. And they knew damn well from day one it didn't, and they fraudulently withheld that information from you. This is how we turn the tables. We invoke our creator endowed inalienable rights that the framers of the Constitution put in there for us and recognized life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. At the time, human life was a clear value, the only nation probably ever been invented on that principle. It still exists. Nowadays, however, the government thinks that we all owe our birthright citizenship to Section 1 of the non-existent 14th War Amendment. As you'll see with my documents, I absolutely destroy that with a 26-page brief that shows it violated all six articles of the Constitution. That's not us, but that's the only quote-unquote persons they recognize in their damn courts. Artificial corporate entities. Might as well be IBM, Chase Bank, whatever. That's all they recognize. So there are a lot of affirmative defenses here. And the good news is that some of these people, especially the mortgage bankers, which we'll get to, but even corporate landlords are going to understand risk versus gain. As we go in there and get one decision on the, on the record, especially from the nine old parts, a U.S. Supreme Court, that undoes every landlord-tenant agreement from Portland, Maine to Honolulu, Hawaii. That's the strength we have. You just have to know it. But just like me 50 years ago, they didn't tell you a damn thing about this when you were in the mandatory public education system either. So you have no way to know. They're not going to tell you. Attorneys, if they know, will actively conceal the knowledge. But I'm there to put it out there at a fraction of you know, about one half of 1% of a four-year law course at Stanford, Harvard, Yale, whatever, if they taught this stuff anymore, which they don't. But this is how we take action here and set the record and my track record has been pretty damn good up to this point never lost a case on the merits now these are some new areas with these quote-unquote evictions and with mortgage bankers and this that and the other but the money issue and the state v territory issue are the key to both and they can't beat me on either one of them there is no money uh just real quickly uh Marilyn Russ Eccles the then chairman of the federal reserve said on the record house bank bank committee of, on uh, banking and finance 1941 that the Fed could create money out of debt. And without debt, there would be no money. That's what they don't want you to know. We're supposed to have gold and silver coins, specie, like it started out with the coinage act of 1792. 
So there's a lot of affirmative defenses here. Uh, send me an email, you went in court at gmail.com. I'll send you information on my document packets and some documents to help get you up to speed. And what you want to do is subscribe, like my videos, tell your friends, get the word out. The more of us that are doing this, the quicker we're going to get it get all this out of the way and stop these damn evictions and put corporate landlords exactly in their place. And perhaps that will be out of business. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Like the video, subscribe, tell your friends.